we're given the velocity equation to be one third t cubed minus three t squared minus seven t plus one. We wanna find the maximum acceleration of the particle on the interval between zero and eight. Okay, so first we need to find acceleration. Acceleration is just a derivative of velocity. So we're taking the derivative of one third t cubed, three t squared, seven t, and one. So because we wanna find the maximum acceleration, we need to also take another derivative to see to get the critical point that will make our acceleration the maximum. So take the derivative of t squared minus 6t minus 7. Is that equal to 0? We end up getting t equals 3. And let's draw a derivative number line. So the critical point is 3, and the bound is between 0 and 8. Okay, so we want to limit our interval from 0 to 8. Now, if I plug in a number between 0 and 3, let's say 1, in the derivative equation, we have 2 times 1 minus 6 is negative. And then we pick a number between 3 and 8, let's say 5. We have 2 times 5 is 10, minus 6 is 4, so that's positive. So, clearly this is a local minimum. So three is where the acceleration is its minimum, but we wanna find the maximum. So what that leads us to do is plug in the endpoints. So let's compare when we plug in t equals zero and t equals eight. Okay, so if t, if t equals zero, we have zero squared minus six times zero minus seven, that's negative seven t equals 8, we have 8 squared minus 6 times 8 minus 7. Now let's see, 40, let's do negative 48 minus 7 is negative 56, sorry, negative 55, and then 64. So 64 minus 55 is 9. So clearly the maximum acceleration is 9. And, and that is our answer.